There hasn't been a war like World War I, and there hasn't been one like it since. Okay? World War I is the first modern war. It's the first total war. It's the first war where you, kids, can join in, and so can your mums and your grands, because everybody is affected in one way or the other. There are only 14 towns in the whole of the country where all the men that left to go off to fight actually managed to return back home. Now what we want you to imagine is that the guys you're meeting today are not professional soldiers. In the main, they are guys who joined up in 1914 out of patriotic fervour, right? Because they felt they were doing the right thing. Many of them are bakers, they're clerks, they're bank managers, they're painter decorators, they're plumbers. Some of them, a lot of them, footballers. Do you guys get taught what it is to be an Arsenal gunner? Yeah? So what it is to have that self-pride, to get up in the morning, put your tops on. Right? What if, if the unfortunate time happens where you do lose a game, you feel rubbish inside, don't you? Okay? This is what we this is what we instill in our soldiers. Okay? The desire to win. Okay, the pride, the pride within the regiment. In Alice Cemetery there are 107 British and Commonwealth soldiers and airmen buried there, but 105 of them are from World War I. There are 25 of them are gunners. What I'd like you to do when we get there is to split up with your poppy and look for a gravestone with your badge on it. All people in the Royal Artillery, man, woman, general, gunner, whatever, are all known as gunners. This is where you get your name from. They shall not grow old, as those that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. I think when you have a 19-year-old looking at the grave of another 19-year-old, it does. I mean, I am 46, there's a 46-year-old here. Okay, I think it does. I think also you have to remember that a lot of the guys who joined up were younger than 19. Okay, so one of the most visited graves on the Western Front is of jo Valentine Joe Strodrick and he's 15. Okay, so I think it does hit home to them. Also, it's, I think it's nice that the fact they've been able to see graves with their badge on. Okay, these are gunners. 25 of the guys in this cemetery are also gunners. It gives them a chance to connect. It's been a great day. It's been, it's been nice to come here and see, see what it's about and learn from, from what they've had to say. So yeah, but it's, it's nice to see the soldiers. It's quite scary really to be fair, because how many years ago if, if I was in that day and age then I might have been going to war and I might have been killed so it is, yeah it is really scary. Yeah because you see a lot on the news and obviously in history lessons but when you come here I think it really actually touches all the boys, like you feel it so it's, it's really sad to be fair, it leaves kind of a weird feeling inside you. I think it's very important. We all gunners, and uh, the ones who lay on the, on the cemetery here, yeah, they were so brave at that time, and uh, they had almost nothing, and had to fight for their country and fight for their lives. So, if you want to be an elite player at Arsenal, you at least have to know how to fight uh, for uh, and, and have the desire to become one of the elite players. And even then, it's just the top of it. So. Um, I think uh, we have to all have to be very humble uh, because of the gunners who, uh, who are here in the cemetery. <laughs>